My name is Bethany Knowlton, and I am doing a book review over Charles Spurgeon's book, Soul Winner. So Charles Spurgeon was born in 1834 in Cavelden, Essex, which was an area of Protestant resistance that would date back to the persecutions of Bloody Mary in the 16th century. Spurgeon's father and grandfather were independent ministers, and after leaving Sanborn, he began ministry. And during his lifetime, Spurgeon saw a majority of Britons come to live within the cities. His ministry was at a time period with much economic and social distress, and in Britain, um, cholera spread much um, around the area and killed many. His first year in London, the Crime Crimean War broke out, which involved major European powers. And with all of these wars and issues, many sought after religious solace. So the Great Revival happened, and this sparked his ministry from the events of 1859. His popularity grew from the fact that the Sabbath was permitted and people could go to church. Spurgeon never liked the term reverend, but much preferred um, the title pastor. He very much agreed more on the Calvinistic side of theology and election and predestination, and he was um, wanting to argue against the fact of human responsibility within salvation. Um, but he found that both were woven in through the Bible, so he um, created a systematic theology with um, both. And in his book, Soul Winner, he talks a lot about um, God calling um, people to um, minister, to be ministers, but not only that, but also to share the gospel. All believers um, called to share the gospel. And he says about being called to the ministry, you must have faith about your call to the ministry. You must believe without question that you're really chosen by God to be ministers of the gospel of Christ. If you firmly believe that God has called you to preach the gospel, you'll preach it with courage and confidence. You'll feel that you're going to your work because you have a right to do it. If you have an idea that possibly you are nothing but an intruder, you'll do nothing of any account. You'll be only a poor, diffident, half-apologetic preacher for whose mes message no one will care. You must not begin to preach until you're quite sure that God has called you to the work. And in this, um, he really emphasizes God's call and um, his control and sovereignty um, over um, his people. And the Soul Winner is really just a collection of lectures and sermons that Spurgeon wrote up that focuses on the job of evangelism. He does a really great job in encouraging believers in this way and explaining how and why believers need to share the gospel. Spurgeon emphasizes the majesty and sovereignty of God as well as the depravity of man. So this should lead Christians to share the gospel to sinners. This book challenges um, believers to live the gospel. And he writes, the soul winner must be a master of the art of prayer. You cannot bring souls for God if you go not to God yourself. You must get your battle axe and your weapons of war from the armory of sacred communion with Christ. And the difficulties of that day could have been fear of sharing the gospel um, or just the um, rough circumstances that people were in because of the wars and the diseases. Um, that um, this book brought a lot of conviction to Christians that they need to share, um, and that's our call as believers. And Spurgeon also talks in his book, he says, Even if I were utterly selfish and had no care for anything but my own happiness, I would choose of my might under God to be a soul winner, for never did I know perfect, overfilling, unutterable happiness of the purest and most ennobling order till I first heard of one who had sought and found a Savior through my means. I recollect the thrill of joy which went through me. And so Spurgeon says that um, there's no greater joy than to um, be a part of bringing someone um, to the gospel and showing them truth. And um, that was important to him. And he encourages that that must be an important part of a believer's life too. And <clears throat> Spurgeon saw the need for those that believed in Jesus to go out and share and with those who need the gospel. I said before, many wars and diseases were spreading during that time, and many people needed to um, have that fire that Spurgeon expressed in his book. Soul winner, much of it was expressed in a heart and zeal that Spurgeon had often when he preached. And this is um, probably why his church was also evangelistic at that time, too. Um, and with much economic and social distress in that period, Spurgeon motivated the believers to continue to press on in obedience to the Great Commission, even when times were hard. And so in all of this, I highly encourage this book and um, know that it, it highly impacted believers in that time 
to be faithful and obedient to the Great Commission and what God calls us to do. Thank you for watching.